Welcome back, everybody. Yes. Do you want to know the answers to your questions? Are you too afraid to call in and talk to me? You shouldn't be, but you could always email. And when you email, Lou will select one. He'll come up here and he'll read it to me. He'll go, Dear Susie. Nothing to be afraid of when you email. I so know. Anonymous. There's actually it's white nothing paper. to be afraid of ever with Easy. me. Easy. Perfect. Ever. That's right. right well, tell, that's true. Tell me something I don't know. How could I? How could I pot? You know everything. Nothing that? you want to tell me? No secrets? Oh, no. me? About me? No. About me? About no. you? I told you, you ask me anything and I'll tell you. How's your love life? Uh, <laughs> fine. All right, good. There you go. All, All right. right. My father always used to ask me that. Really? Always. Very inappropriate. I know. Whatever. What are you going to do? <clears throat> All right. You ready? All right, yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. Uh, from Christina, 26 in Ithaca, New York. I made a stupid decision to stop paying my credit cards five years ago. The amount is about $12,000. Now that I want to buy a house, of course, it's haunting me. Do I wait until my debt is erased, or do I try to start consolidating and pay? What does that mean? What does that mean that you made a decision five years ago to stop paying $12,000 of credit card debt? A decision? Does that mean that you didn't have the money, you didn't want to do it? What does that mean? Most people would say, you know what, five years ago I got into financial trouble and I couldn't pay my credit card debt anymore. But that's not what you wrote. So I don't know, I'm having trouble with this, my love, in that now, five years later, now you want to buy a home, but the fact that you made a decision to stop paying your credit cards is haunting you. It should be haunting you because if you owe $12,000 to somebody and now you want to buy a home, don't you think it's more honest and ethical to pay the $12,000? thousand dollars that you owed because if you have the money to buy a house that says to me you have the money to pay off your credit card debt of what you happen to own and it's only been five years the statute of limitation in the state of new york is six years that means in the next few months trust me on this one they're going to come after you they're going to find you. They're going to want to make sure that you pay them what you owe them before the statute of limitation is up. That's the period of time that they legally, they can't come after you anymore. So you got to be careful here. You can't buy a home to you clean up your past mess. Do you hear me? She made a decision. I, Did wonder, you? I wonder how far into her mortgage she's going to decide to stop paying. That's right, Lou. <laughs> it's right. It's like, you know, didn't that, when you were reading that, did that know, strike I'm, you yeah, funny? A little, a, little, a little funny. Made a decision yeah. to stop paying my credit card. Wow. Well, well, I'm going to make a decision to end this show ah, right now. Good but not because I want to. Because I have to because the hour's up. You know, it happens, doesn't it? Time flies when you're having fun. But until next week, and you better come back next Saturday. You never know what can happen. Until next week, there's only one thing that I want you to remember when it comes to your money, and it is this. People first, then money, then things. Now you stay.